It's the most wonderful time of the year. And we are back for our holiday episode. You've got a dysfunctional bow going on. She's trying <laughs> to make herself into a holiday gift. We've got a full holiday set for everyone. You're going to get a chance during this break to celebrate Christmas. I'm going to get a chance during this break to celebrate all eight days of Hanukkah. There are people out there celebrating Kwanzaa. There are people out there celebrating other winter holidays. So it's going to be a great time of year. We hope you enjoy the holiday set we have set up for you. We have this great pine tree that's celebrating one of the holidays to happen during this winter break. So it's been decorated for one specific holiday. And we've got snowflakes and snow on the ground. And we just have a winterful show for people today. It's just filled with holiday spirit. What do we have going on? You're going to talk about what's, what's good to wear during the winter season, during the holiday season. You actually had Not a, a bow, apparently. Oh, not a bow. Don't <laughs> wear a bow. You had the chance to interview someone that most people don't get a chance to interview. So you can consider yourself lucky. I'm going to talk about gifts that you probably don't want to exchange during the holiday season. They're not the best gifts to give. But, but what's going to start off the show today? We're going to check out Luca Rosano. He got to check out basically who's been naughty or nice this year and what people really want for Christmas. Tiss, 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 check tiss it out. naughty people. Hi, my name is Luca Rosano here at Gold Farmer. It's that time of year again. Christmas is around the corner. And good old jolly Saint Nick is making his way around again. So today, I'm gonna to be going around campus and asking students what they want for Christmas, and more importantly, if they've been naughty or nice. I'm now here with... Becky. So Becky, Christmas is around the corner. What do you want? I want new clothes. <laughs> yeah, is that all? Big shopping spree. And have you been naughty or nice to obtain these clothes? I've been very nice. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Hopefully Santa's uh, kind to you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. I'm now here with... Gabriel. So Gabe, what do you want for Christmas? Um, for the Raptors to win. That's a, that's a bold present right there. Have you been naughty or nice to get this? Well, I've been really naughty though, so that's why they're losing right now. <laughs> well, hopefully the Raptors can start winning. Thanks a lot. So guys, I'm here with... Tiana Gordino. So let me ask you, Tiana, with Christmas around the corner, what do you want? Mm, a whole new wardrobe. <laughs> That's a lot to ask for. I don't think so. And have you been naughty or nice to get this? Oh, most definitely. So hopefully you will be getting this. Thanks a lot. For sure. Well, guys, obviously Christmas is the jolliest time of the year. If you want something nice, here's my advice. Be sure to leave Santa some cookies and even some carrots for his reindeer. Until then, I'm Luke Rosano here at Gold Humber for OGT. Back to you guys. So thank you, Luca. I hope I'm not a naughty person. I like to consider myself a nice person. I'm a good kid. I'm a good child. I'm a good boy. So I'm not naughty. I hope I get all the good gifts. But speaking of good gifts, I'm going to tell you what's not so good of a gift to give. I mean, all gifts are good. They all have meaning behind it. They all have thought. I mean, the fact that you get a gift, you should always be appreciative of what you get. But there are times where you need to fake how happy you are, especially when your grandma decides to give you a pair of socks. And then you're like, okay, thank you. I can put this in my drawer with all the other pairs of socks that I have. And then you're just like, okay, I have more and more socks for everyone. Same thing. It's really tough when last year you get a gift that, that, that's contact solution. And I'm like, thanks. Thank you. I love me some more contact solution. I'm appreciative of the fact that they even thought to give me a gift. But I don't need to wash my contacts any more than I have been in the past. There are other little things that you really don't like to get, get, like thank you for the colorful pillow or the great quilt that you happen to wrap up and put in a bag and give me. It's just not exactly what I'm feeling as a Christmas gift. But you know what? You always just got to be appreciative of what you get. What's really cool to wear during this season? I do think it's pretty important to dress warmly, especially since it's cold. I mean, come on. Warmth obviously trumps style. You want to be warm. That's just the way it is. But now's the kind of year where you can actually pull out those ugly sweaters, all that glitter, and those weird and crazy outfits. And you can actually get away with it. You can get away with dressing up and wearing reindeer, uh, a reindeer headpiece or even a Santa Claus hat. And usually, people don't tend to say anything. So go a little crazy. Dress up to celebrate your holiday. And that wraps up this episode of OGT. We're going to be taking a little break. We're going to come back in the new year in January because we really want to enjoy this break from school and this break from all the craziness. So we want to get a chance to enjoy that. But it's not only Em and myself, it's not only John and myself that want to that wanna say happy holidays to you all. It's the whole crew that we've got. We want all of our camera people 
to come and wish you guys happy holidays. So camera people, make Let's sure you guys out here. come and say hi. Make sure you guys come say happy holidays. We've got all of our people coming in on the set that want to wish you guys happy holidays. John, who couldn't be here today, we're going to sing. Frosty the snowman was a jolly, jolly soul with a cup of light and a button nose and two eyes made out of coal. Frosty the snowman is a fairy tale, they say. He was made of snow, but the children know how he came to life one day. There must Check us out online, www.guru.tv, facebook.com slash guru.tv. Our Twitter, Guru TV, at Guru TV. And happy holidays to everyone! Woo! Oh, Frosty the snowman was alive as he could be. And the children say he could laugh and play just the same as you and me. Frosty the snowman knew the sun was hot that day. So he said, let's run and we'll have some fun now before I melt away.